They could change the way police police, and they're about to become reality right here in Fort Wayne. We're talking about body cameras, and they don't come cheap. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us with more on what the Fort Wayne Police Department needs to do to get them and why they think they're so important. Angelica? The Fort Wayne Police Department will receive $126,000 for body cameras and will have to match that amount in order to get the grant. The city was one of about 70 others who received the funding. It's a move that some officers and community leaders are saying it just makes sense. If all goes as planned, about 100 uniformed officers will have body cameras. The department says using these cameras will help them and the public. It removes any suspicion of one side being more honest than the other. Jonathan Ray of the Fort Wayne Urban League has been an advocate for body cameras. Uh, you know, if there was a body camera in place uh, in the Ferguson scenario, it, it wouldn't be any doubt uh, what happened. But still, there's some logistics that the police department will need to figure out. We got a lot to sit down on with the administration, with the police administration, to work out exactly how these are supposed to be used, when to turn them on, when to turn them off, what circumstances are not to be used for, and things like that. John Bonner says wearing the cameras could potentially pose a threat to people's right to privacy. We walk into people's houses, sometimes not in the best uh, conditions and so forth. We're going to say stuff and show stuff. I think we've got to be careful of that also. And then there's the question of storing all that data. It could be quite a hefty price tag for the department, possibly millions of dollars. And you got hundreds of thousands of hours that you need to store. And how am I going to store it for? A year, two years, six months? I think it's good to start somewhere, but it's going to be a learning process. Right now, they are testing cameras from two different companies in order to see which one suits them best. Once everything is approved, officers will start wearing them immediately. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.